Better close your mouth or get a closed cast. Show you what I'm saying, like closed castles, but I'm in two. I'm gonna disappear when I spit fire. That's old magic. I put that chopper to a bullet. Then let it fly. Go, go, gas. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy E Fitness, aka. Woo! Surf flex a lot in today's topic, fasted cardio. Now, before I even start this video, you already know the routine. Don't forget to like my video, share my video, and like my video in advance because you know, you already know that it's going to be good. Today's topic, fasted cardio. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because summertime's right around the corner, and I know that a lot of you guys are trying to get that extra slack off your back. You're starting to dislike those love handles, and you just want your one pack at least to be flat. No problems with that. And in your quest to find the most efficient way to do it, and I'm not calling you guys lazy. I'm sure that you heard of something called fasted cardio. Uh, with this newfound theory in your head, you probably went to your favorite fitness professional or anyone that you know that does bodybuilding and asked them about fasted cardio. And they probably told you that it's the best thing since sliced bread. But when you asked them to explain it to you, they probably didn't know how to do so. So my objective with this video is to help you better understand what fasted cardio is. And to do that, I'm going to break it down into three easy parts like I like to do. First, I'm going to tell you about fasted cardio itself. I'm going to tell you how it works and when you should do it and then I'm going to give you my outlook on fasted cardio with that being said let's go ahead and talk about fasted cardio what is it to better help understand I'm going to give you a little chemistry lesson every time you eat your body produces insulin and what this insulin does is it moves the nutrients from your bloodstream into the cell once it's in the cell it gets converted to adenosine triphosphate which as everyone knows is ATP now that ATP is used for energy later on when you're lifting weights when you're running when you're pretty much doing anything but that completes the cell metabolization process back to fasted once your insulin level is lower then you're considered to be in a fasted state now you don't have to wait until you wake up to be in a fasted state. Theoretically, if you eat, say, for example, at 1 p.m., if you wait six hours and it's 7 p.m., you are, in essence, in a fasted state. And the reason that this is important is because a lot of people use fasted cardio to help get to their fat stores quicker. And to help you understand, let me give you another chemistry lesson. Your body has a hierarchy in regards to how it likes to burn calories or take from the body itself. It first likes to take from carbs, and then it'll go into your fat stores. And if it has to, it'll break down skeletal muscle via the use of protein. That's something that you definitely don't want. So what happens is when you eat, if you're not fasted, as opposed to going into those fat stores, the body's just going to take from whatever's in the, the bloodstream just so that it can work more efficiently. And that's pretty much fasted cardio explained. Although I alluded to the fact that you can do fasted cardio almost any time during the day because all you have to do is get into a fasted state, I would highly recommend that you do it in the morning. The reason being is because it's gonna be easier on you. You don't have to worry about getting into a fasted state later. You might get hungry, you might end up snacking on something. Trust me, it's a lot easier to just wake up and do fasted cardio if you do decide to do it, as opposed to waiting until later on and trying to get into a fasted state. Simply put, it's the easiest method, so if you're going to do something hard, just find the easiest way to do it. Remember, guys, we're trying to be efficient out here. And lastly, my recommendation in regards to fasted cardio, I think that it has its place, but I was looking at a study, and the study it used 20 women. And during that study, it was a four-week study, they actually found that cardio, fasted cardio actually did not have any significant improvement on their weight loss. In essence, the most effective method was calories in versus calorie out. Calories out. So, in my from my perspective, I always advocate calories in versus calories out. Fasted cardio. If you hit a plateau and you want to switch it up, if you want to trick the body, I would say incorporate that. If you're super lean and you're trying to get leaner, if you're a bodybuilder trying to compete, if you want to lose a lot that last little bit of stubborn body fat, fasted cardio may help because what it does is it allows the body to fax it, excuse me oxidize fat a little more efficiently. So. When you're not fasting, your body may not be able to create the blood flow necessary to get to those hard to reach areas like the lower abs or the lower back. Whereas if you're in a fasted state, you're more likely to reach those areas. But I would use it as a, a last resort option. Wouldn't make it my primary source of cardio. It's it's inconvenient, becomes a burden over time, and I'm just I'm just not with it. That's just my recommendation. But with that being said, it's almost time for me to get out of here. Got to go to the gym. But before I go, you already know the routine. Don't forget to like my video, share my video, and like my video in advance. It's your boy E Fitness. Woo! I'm out. Come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go.